If you're still wondering, should I buy a house this year or wait for 2023, I want you to watch this video. The reason being everybody's situation is going to be different. What I want to do and share with you are different things for you to consider when making your decision as to whether to buy or wait. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is what the real estate market looks like right now. So you can consider these factors when you're deciding. Number one, there is low inventory in Northern Virginia. Okay, what that means is, are you going to be able to find that house that meets the needs of you and your family? Mm, we don't know. On the flip side of that though, what we're seeing right now is that buyer interest has kind of lagged, which means sellers have to negotiate more on these contracts and that can actually work in your favor. So I would say if you're able to identify a home that meets the needs of you and your family, then consider it might not be an awful time because you'll still be able to negotiate on the, on the terms of that sales contract, okay? Second thing to consider, very high interest rates according to everyone. Historically, it's not horrific. It is a lot higher than it was two years ago, still it's a decent rate now if that concerns you you have options so if you have savings you can actually use those savings to pay down and get a lower interest rate your loan officer will be able to help you with this the second thing is consider options like an arm it's a mortgage um, interest payment where you start with a lower interest payment and then it's adjusted later on, okay? So that's another option for you. Okay, so this next one is a big one, home prices. Where do I start? Okay, if you look at home prices over, let's just say the last three years, and I actually pulled this figure, so take a look. In 2019, the median sale price of a home in Northern Virginia was 486,000. In 2020, 547,000. In 2021, 590,000. Now, July 2022, the median price of a home in Northern Virginia is 619,000. Okay? So, don't wait for home prices to go down. What is happening though, is the rate at which the increases are happening is decreasing. So trust me, a house that you want to buy this year is going to cost you a lot more next year. So that's a big consideration and should put a lot of your worries to rest. Now, this is not barring catastrophic, something happening, the market crashing, but something big has to happen to shit, really make that happen. We are seeing a slowing down in the market. It is going to shift back to a buyer's market eventually when we can't really say for sure. That's why it's so important for you to take in, into consideration what your situation is, what your family's um, needs are at this time. Now, this last one has to do with home buying as an investment. And I pulled up this for really good Forbes article and it surveyed, I think, 21 experts, 57% of them agreed that buying a home was a good investment, okay? Um, it also stated that homeowners had four times the amount of wealth than those who were renting. So again, everybody's situation is different. Take a look at yours. But in terms of building wealth or building your asset base over time, um, it's not a bad idea. Now, just to see home buying as a quick, um, quick money scheme, no, that's not what home buying, um, that's not how it's going to pay you back. It really is, this is a good move for my family. This home meets our needs. And over time, we know that as we're paying the equity down, this home becomes an asset for our future, okay? So I hope this was helpful. I hope those are things to think about. If you have additional questions, I'm always here. My contact information is below. Um, 
Until next time, okay? Stay safe.